Hey, we're here at South by Southwest in Austin. Um, Brian and I, of course, always exercise when we're here at South by Southwest. But today, we're also demonstrating Athos Smart Apparel, which basically we're gonna do a workout. This is just the warm up. Um, and uh, we're gonna do the workout, and it's gonna track our muscle activity um, and- Muscle effort. And muscle effort. And it basically is gonna allow us to exercise better. So let's go check it out. All right. Ready to the rest? I hate this. All right. I'm so Very glad I got to right do now. this with you. <laughs> hey, I'm here with Jake Waxenberg of Athos, and he's going to show us the app. Yeah, absolutely. So when you first get started, you put the cord in like we did, and the phone automatically recognizes that you're ready to work out. So it brings up your initial training goal menu where you can kind of pick the type of workout you want to do. Get lean, get toned, get strong. And get strong is more like put on size. And for each type of goal that you select, we give you a muscle effort target to hit. So the muscle effort scored from zero to 100%. And for any exercise you do, you want to work a specific muscle. And for that muscle you're trying to work, you want to hit this target score. So for today's workout, we're going to do get toned. And so when we take you to a couple exercises, we're going to want you to try to hit between 65 and 80 for the main muscle you're using. Is that, is that a high target? That is, a, that is an appropriate target for what it is. <laughs> okay. And those are as good or bad, you just want to try to land in that zone. Okay. All right, and so we'll see, uh, take you through some exercises and see what we can do. Okay, great. Squatting down. So as you see on your squats here, uh, the, the body lights up like a heat map, going from blue, yellow, orange to red on that scale from zero to 100%, and it's showing you what muscles are activated in real time. And so from this, you can see, are you firing the right muscles? Are you firing them in the right sequence? But we don't expect many people to be able to look at their phone when they work out, it's not very practical. So we developed a mode to be able to look in between sets or after your workout, we'll show you that in a second. What we see here is a result of this, the set of squats you just did. And it's an average of what just happened. So as you see, you use your outer quad the most. Uh, your balance is pretty good. You dominate a little bit more on the right side than the left. But as you see in the, in the back of your body, you use that left side a lot more than that right. And so by looking at you, you're going down, up and down evenly. Uh, to the naked eye, it looks like you're doing it fine. But when in fact, this window under your muscle shows that there's some things we need to work on the squat. We need to use the glutes more and we need to use both sides a little more evenly. And as we said, that live view that can really show a lot of activation patterns would be great to see. Unfortunately, we can't watch the phone we work out. So we have a replay mode that replays what exactly has happened to your live view. So you can see and learn about when you're firing your muscles and how to fire them more efficiently when you're using each one. And here you see how much when you're going down, you use the inside of those quads, which says your knees are a little bit too close together. When you're coming up, you're only using that left glute, which means you're putting all that weight on your left side. That could lead to injury, and also you're not getting the maximum benefit of your squat. You're working your glutes and your quads. All right, so now we'll see the next set and see how you improved. So, Again, in between set view, you can compare each one of your sets and review what you just did. So that's your first one, as we said, a little bit out of whack, left side a little more than the right. We didn't use the glutes exactly enough. And we look at this set, and we see a lot more balance through the legs, a lot more good use of the, out, the total quad instead of just the inside. In terms of that, especially like evaluating and correcting, is that something you think most people are going to do on their own, or is it sort of usually in like consultation with a personal trainer? So it works both ways. The way we developed Athos, it's a wonderful tool for the personal trainer to use with the client, but we made it so it's actionable for anybody. Now, Athos will go in stages and get more prescriptive as we go, and right now it's a great awareness tool. As we continue to go, we'll in, uh, implement elements that are a little more coaching based, and that will come in the future. But right now, now, anyone in the gym without a trainer can pick it up, use it, and understand what they did right or wrong. Okay, we're doing shorts right now, but you also have shirts? Yeah, there, there will be tops coming out, and they're coming out in the summer. And so the shirts will be able to measure sort of the muscle activity in the upper body? Absolutely. So it works just like the shorts. Uh, the same core works for your shirt, so you just need one, and you can flip them back and forth. But the shirt tracks pecs, uh, front shoulder, back of the shoulder, biceps, triceps, lats, and traps, and it also does heart rate and breathing. Huh. And the shorts do, do heart rate as well. Great. Well, I'm going to put these weights down and we can yeah. <laughs>